Greetings, my friends. My name is Carolyn Foster, and I'm sitting here getting ready to make a video for you guys. I'm at my nature preserve where I usually film all of my videos. Um, it's a great place, and it's a place where I like to come to ground and center myself because it's so peaceful and so tranquil. I can't begin to express um, how thrilled I am to be here because when I come here I meet the most awesome people and have the most interesting conversations and I think that's part of my mission as well you know to just connect with with individuals around it, it's a great connection because when you're out and, and you start talking to people it feels good and and to be helping people show them around the nature preserve. My video today is going to be a reflection of my my journey this this year. Uh, over the past two months, I uh, I hit one of my lows, and that's where I was learning most of most of my secrets. If that's what you want to call them. It's where I was doing my self-discovery. Now, when when you're going through the rough patches, you can't always see through that to know that you're learning a lesson. But in the back of my head, I already knew that uh, I was learning a lesson or the universe was trying to show me what I need to do to change things. And over the past couple of months, I have felt a little bit disconnected from the spirit. I was wondering, well, how do I connect? How do I reconnect back to the spirit? Now, the thing is, I already know the answer. The answer is to get out of the negative vortex and get back into the positive vortex. Start getting yourself back in a positive mindset. A positive mindset will help lift the negativity and get, get that energy filled, um, filled with positive vibrations to raise your vibrational fre frequency. And that's what I'm doing right now. I also had a dream and this dream was really amazing because this dream that I had I was pregnant in the dream now in the dream when I was pregnant I'm gonna stand up I'm gonna go over here in the dream when I was pregnant I kept thinking what am I gonna do with a newborn and a four month old a four month old my cousin ended up in the dream as well and he's like whatever your choice is it's up to you I had thoughts in my head I said I thought well I could just abort it but that's not what my beliefs are in any way so I just want you to know that in real life and in the dream world those are not my um, my beliefs to, to abort and so in the dream I knew that wasn't an option so I thought maybe I can go full term and then put the baby up for adoption however pregnancy in the dream was not what it seems to be in reality in the dream world pregnancy connects with what you'd say like a new project or the birth of something new in your life now the fear that I was having with this pregnancy in the dream is the, the fear of letting go of whatever it is that you're 
getting ready to do, your new project, your new mission. What are you afraid of? It's hard to look at videos and like film myself and then rewatch them. You know, just get out there and just do it. You have to get out there and just do it because you have the strength within yourself to go ahead and do these things. So fear will limit you. And basically the dream was telling you that the, the birth of your spirituality, the path you're on is a path and, and you have a choice to keep on walking on that path and um, get things done or you can abort the, the path and just, just walk away from it. That's not what I want to do. I have a mission and my mission is to share positive information and and um, enlightenment with my fans and viewers uh, with the world um, if you for lack of a better term fans wasn't what I meant but um, now I'm going to read to you what came to my mind for this video and it just flowed so fluently. All right, since we're reflecting on we're reflecting on this year and how I newly became enlightened on this journey in life, how I have like a new outlook on on life and it's because of my spirituality that I have this. So this year, I realized the power of my soul. The secret ingredient to life is love. When you fill your heart with, with love, it changes you with a powerful state of... Wait. When you fill your heart with love, it charges you with a powerful state of being. It transcends you it transcends you out of the lower dimensions. You start seeing things from a different perspective. You start seeing things from a different angle. Every situation you are faced with is a challenge to test your abilities to push yourself to the outer limits. But in order to find these answers, you have to dig within your your inner self. Work from the inside to produce the outer result. Whatever is within us manifests outwardly. So if you want to change your reality, you do it from within because we are a mirror reflection. What we see is the result from within. So if we want to change this, you search from within yourself. Find the root of your problems and correct it. Once you find the root and uh, uh, once you find the root problem and let it go you free yourself from letting that issue control your life whether you know it or not it is rooted in your subconscious mind when you become aware of the subconscious problems you are able to face the issue bringing it to the surface it no longer has control of you anymore you are in control each one of us has a choice on how we live what we what reality we live in this is not something we can change it is something we can master this knowledge alone is not taught in schools and it is not talked about by most why isn't it talked about well because those there are those that are on higher levels that already know the true potential of our true nature we do not remember because we are, we are in fact having a human experience. We are here to master life, figure things out to free our minds. When you start to free your mind, you will manifest a new reality. The way to shift your reality quickly is to jump into it quickly without thinking too much about it. Don't give yourself too much time to cause you doubt because 
doubt is not of the connected source, the universe. Just do it. It is the only way to free yourself. The universe and the spirit guides will provide you everything you need on your journey to, to succeed. It is up to you to do it. Just do it. So, this is a lesson that I learned when I was sitting there and I got that enlightened message for us. This message comes from the Divine Ones, I believe, and I thank the Universe for sending me that information to share with you. We just have to get out there and do it. We have to get out there and um, follow through with our intentions, follow through with everything that we are and, and want to be to get to the reality we desire. Um, continue having that positive mindset. I love you guys. I'm sending out lots of love and peace. And I will be seeing you again. I thank you very much for watching me. Thank you and peace.